call them cutlass fish, call them ribbon fish, call them whatever you like. These crazy critters have been going farther and farther up the Chesapeake in recent years. Heck, this year they were caught all the way at the Severn, and if you went to the Patuxent, you could catch them by the dozen. And guess what? They taste pretty darn good. Want to get in on this unique action? Here's how to catch cutlass fish. Hey, Eric Packard with Fish Talk here. Hey, uh, today we're fishing for cutlass fish here in Mill Creek off the Patuxent River. We have a little air station right back there. We're throwing half ounce and quarter ounce and beetle spins with, uh, this one's electric chicken. Uh, some of them have um, paddle tails on them that are kind of gray colored or green. And we're casting, counting down to about 10, maybe even setting it on the bottom, lifting the bait up, reeling it in slowly and hooking into the cutlass fish. So what they'll do is they'll tap, tap, and then they'll stop, they'll tap, they'll stop. So once you feel them tapping, you need to set the hook right away or hopefully they'll come back for the bait. So Eric, do these fish like an active jerky retrieve or just a slow and steady? Slow and steady retrieve. Um, let it drop, slow and steady. So are you finding them on structure? No, out here on the uh, flats, it's just mud underneath there. In about um, probably 13 foot of water. Tide's going down now, so it's probably about um, 11, 10 feet of water right here. Here's one thing about the cutlass fish. If you're fishing plastics, bring plenty because you end up with a whole lot of this. They love to bite those tails off. Cutlass fish fight in a really odd way. They sort of swim backwards in bursts. So sometimes it feels like they've pulled free, but they haven't. Keep reeling, and he'll probably still be on the end of the line. Final warning, people. These cutlass fish have some gnarly barbed teeth, so keep your fingers clear. Don't miss another cool fish dog video, click below to subscribe.